Greetings of peace, the noble purpose of the United Nations, and the fervent wish of people of goodwill everywhere. Although the world is a dramatically different place than it was when the United Nations was founded, the values of peace, equal rights, and human dignity are as valid as ever. In many places today, these values are under strain, under assault. 75 years after the adoption of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, its promise of dignity, freedom, and equality in rights remains to be fulfilled. In a world where nearly half of all pregnancies are unintended, where every two minutes a woman dies while giving birth, and where one in three women experience violence in her lifetime, the stakes could not be higher for women and girls. At UNFPA, we continue to march with our partners towards gender equality, bodily autonomy, and a world of reproductive rights and choices for all. Our work is guided by the International Conference on Population and Development Program of Action, and the fundamental principle enshrined in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights that, quote, all human beings are born free and equal in dignity and human rights. Towards that end, UNFPA is contributing to UN-wide efforts to disaggregate development data so that we can lift the cloak of invisibility off the shoulders of groups at risk of being left behind. We are pushing for policies and programs that advance human rights and that help governments implement the sexual and reproductive health and rights-related recommendations of United Nations human rights mechanisms. Specifically, UNFPA pledges to support 20 countries a year in assessing their health systems compliance with international human rights obligations. At the same time, we are embodying the change we want to see. UNFPA is committed to providing a work environment that proudly embraces differences of people of all races and ethnicities, of people with disabilities, of all sexual diversities. As defenders of the United Nations Charter and its affirmation of equality and larger freedom, we all have a duty to fight intolerance with inclusion, discrimination with respect, prejudice with justice. As former Secretary General Dag Hammarskjöld said, to build a world without fear, we must be without fear. To build a world of justice, we must be just. Let us never relent on our core values nor lose sight of the world that we seek, a world of freedom, equality, and justice, especially for women and girls and for all.